Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will give you a very quick tutorial on simple and advanced filtering in Excel. For example, in this data of marks obtained by students in a test, let's say you wanted to find all the records of students which have passed. You could select this and this will give you all the records of students that have passed. If you had some advanced criteria for filtering, for example, if you wanted to find the students whose individual average is greater than 65 but have failed as they have failed in one or more subjects, you could do that by using advanced filtering. There you go. So this will give you the data of students who have failed but whose individual average is greater than 65. How do we do all this? Let's get to it. Here is the data showing the test scores of students in a class for various subjects. We have the marks, the number of subjects they have passed or failed with the pass mark in this case being 40, what the individual total is and the average and if the student has passed or failed. For reporting purposes, let's say you wanted to look at all the students who have passed. How do we do that? It can easily be done by using simple filtering or auto filtering. You could go to the data tab and hit filter and this will give you on all the headings uh, arrow let's say you know once you click on this you will get the different students all the unique records available in the table so let's say I just want to look at a couple of students I'll get the records only of these students you know I select all again similarly let's say I want to look at only students who have failed this will give the records of the students who have failed I could again reset it by selecting all uh, let's say I had multiple criteria. I wanted to look at all the girls who have passed. And so I select the girls. And then in this column P, select only the criteria P. So this will give you all the students in the class who are girls and have passed. All the filters which have been activated, you can see another down arrow next to the filter symbol. So if you want to reset, you could just again go and select all. In the respective columns and this is the full data the simple filtering is a very useful tool if you have single or multiple criteria however if it is based on some kind of logical decision let's say that I wanted to look at students whose individual average is greater than 60 I could do that in the slow way by you know going through the whole list and then removing one by one all the averages who are less than 60 this will give you all the students whose average is greater than 60. However, this is a very tedious process and it can be really time consuming in areas where the list is much more than these 25 records. This can easily be achieved by using advanced filter. For advanced filter, you need to first select the heading column, you know, in this case from column B to column P, copy it as is and put it on row one. So now you need to set up a criteria. Let's say I start with the criteria, I want the individual average greater than 60. Now to go for the advanced filtering, you need to click anywhere in your main table. In this case, I'm selecting uh, cell H9. Go to data and click on the advanced tab here. This will automatically select your list range from B5 to P30. And the criteria range, you can select from B1 to P2 which includes the heading and also the criteria. Just say OK. There it is. This will show all the records of students whose individual average is greater than 60. You can reset it again by just clicking filter and all the records are still there. Let's say you now want to change it to greater than 80. Again go to the cell, click advanced, everything remains the same and there is nobody. So there's no individual whose average is greater than 80. In case you wanted to put multiple criteria, that is, I want to see the records of girls whose average is greater than 60. So I need to put the flag girl in the column D and digital average greater than 60. Again, go to the main table, click advanced. The list range remains same. So does the criteria range. There you go. This will show you all the records who are girls and whose average is greater than 60. 
You can also use wildcard characters to filter records. Let's say I wanted to get all the names whose starting alphabet is A. So in this case, you could put a criteria and sell C2 as A asterisk and click advanced. This will give you all the cells whose name begins with the alphabet A. So let's again go with the criteria of individual average greater than 60. And again, I hit advanced. You can either filter the list in place or copy to another location. Let's say I want to copy this to another location and I'm going to, you know, go to the same Excel in the cell S5. And I say, okay. So this criteria of individual average greater than 60 in this whole list is now copied on cell S5. Simple and advanced filtering are very useful tools for reporting purposes. You can get all the relevant information and records based on the specific criteria required by using these tools. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.